For this felt wallet birthday gift, I decide I want to make my own mandala. So I type in monograms in Cricut Design Space and pull up the zero. Then I create a rectangle and I select all and slice half of that zero out. Then I duplicate that, reverse it, and select all and attach that. Then I create another rectangle to the size I want to use. I think it was four inches by two and a half inches. Give it a bright color so I can see it and send it to the back of my mandala. Then I begin to size the mandala and my rectangle to about the size I want to ultimately produce. After playing around with the size of the mandala and the size of the rectangle, I select all, align, and center the rectangle. Now it's time to slice my rectangle out of the mandala. So I select all, slice, and remove the elements I won't need. Now I grab a circle from Shapes in Cricut Design Space give it a color and size it to where I want my monogram to eventually go. Once I have that sized, I again align it to make sure it's in the center and slice it out. After looking at my new mandala, I decide I want it to be a little simpler. So I go into contour and start highlighting a few of the delicate little curves and hiding them. This gives me a much simpler mandala to work with and a lot easier to weed, I might add. This is a lot of fun. If you've never used contour for something like this, it could change everything for you just the way you want it. So I keep referring back and forth between the contour and the image until I have it exactly the way I want it. And now it's time for my grandson's initials, which are CPP. So I go into the text box and write in a lowercase c, and I choose the font Monogramos, which I had previously downloaded free from defont.com. Then I grab another rectangle from Shapes and I cover the middle and third C's. Then I highlight that and slice those out. What remains is the first initial of Christopher's name. Christopher's other two initials are both P, so I grab a P from text, lowercase, and choose monogramos again, and do the whole thing with the rectangles again, slicing out both the middle P and the right hand P for the rest of his monogram. And lastly, I unhide my yellow circle, which was the size of my monogram, and I put his three initials in there and start adjusting the size to fit that circle. And once that is done, I hide the yellow circle again, select all, and attach his initials. Now all I have to do is just weed my initials and the mandala that I made. And of course, my Tweety Light that we sell on our website makes this so easy. And I love having that lint roller nearby to attach the little pieces I weed out. Now it's time to heat press. All right, the design is finished and now I'm going to press the wallet. First I'm going to see what side the design goes on. It goes on the top. So I'm just going to give it 
a really quick press just to heat up the substrate. I mean, like just for a couple of seconds. I'm set at 315. So the first thing I'm going to put down is my mandala. And I'm going to be very careful. I've got the sticky side out. I'm going to be very careful when I find my center line because I don't want these little delicate pieces to come off. And I'm also going to make sure I don't have anything else stuck on this transfer tape. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to kind of give it a quick measure from side to side. Okay, that's one and a half inches. Oh, and that's about one and a half inches. Good enough for me. And I'll be certainly good enough for my son, grandson. All right, this is our one, two, three flex. Put it down for about three to five seconds. His initials in flock. Make sure they're centered. And I'm going to use a release paper since we already have some applied, some vinyl applied. This is flock, so I'm going to leave it on about 15 seconds. And flock is either a warm or a cold peel. go. There is his wallet that I'm going to put money in for his birthday. 15 year old boys. I mean, what else can you give? I don't know. Money always works. Thanks everyone. For more tutorials like this, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit the bell to be notified of all new tutorials. Thanks again, everyone.